Wild Guns is more or less a light gun game without a light gun. You play as either Annie or Clint, who are obviously named after Annie Oakley and Clint Eastwood, I think. Your opponents are a clan of mostly robotic cowboys, who are responsible for killing a family member of Annie's. Clint is a mercenary hired by Annie to help hunt them down. The top priority is to shoot everything that moves, and not worry about any property damage that occurs in the process. There are no hostages that get in the way, unlike other games of this genre, which is refreshing. But you can't just stand in one place and shoot. Defense is a major component of the game. You're going to have to move around like James Brown to avoid all the incoming shots. You can walk, dash, or jump out of the way, but most useful is the double jump, one of gaming's greatest inventions. Whatever move you use, timing is critical. Slow bullets coming toward you are indicated by flashing circles in the foreground. If you don't want to dodge them, you can shoot these bullets before they hit. The enemies will also fire faster projectiles that hit instantly, without the flashing circles. Before they shoot these though, they often blink or do some type of gesture, so learning to spot these things is crucial. There's a time limit at the bottom of the screen, but it's not for you, it's for the enemy. Once it runs out, all the enemies on the screen explode and a boss comes in. When it gets to be a few seconds left, it's better to just hop around like a maniac and run out the clock. Each of the six stages has three sections. The first two end in a small boss battle, and the third one ends in a large boss battle, and I do mean large. With only six stages, it's a very short game, but it compensates for this by being extremely difficult. If you run out of lives at any point within a stage, you'll have to play all three sections again. Making it to the end of this game is going to take a lot of work. The key is to snatch the weapon power-ups and not waste them, since they have limited ammo. You'll also need to use your smart bombs sparingly. You probably already know all this stuff. The fastest way to conquer the game though is to bring in a second player. You'll have double the firepower, but the amount of damage the enemies can withstand stays the same. Essentially the game becomes twice as easy. There's also a shooting gallery mode where you just shoot the targets in front of you. It also has a two player mode, in which players compete for the highest score. Whether you have a second player or not, it's an instantly forgettable experience that feels like it was tacked on just to add another mode to the game. As for the main game, it's got explosions, robots, and a western theme, so it's hard not to like it. It's also got some great music, as with most Super Nintendo games. In this case, it has a modern slash old western feel to it. The controls are responsive, but there isn't much room to move around. I would often dodge one bullet just to get hit by another. What hurts the game most for me though, is the assembly line gameplay. Within each stage are just a handful of enemies, and many of them just keep reappearing in the same pattern over and over again. Many of the bosses get recycled as well. The game just needed to have a couple of more surprises to break up the monotony. Wild Guns is a blast to play for a few days, but it may not have enough to it to compel someone to play over a long period of time. It's still an above average game and I recommend it to fans of the 16-bit era. <laughs>